This is our Rock Island 49th Street facility. This is the rebuilding shop where we're doing a project called our Amarel Rebuild Program. We're rebuilding approximately 176 Amarel cars. These cars you're, you're looking at today that are part of this rebuild program, they are, um, most of them are built around the early 1990s. To rebuild a car in this facility, if it's a trailer car, a regular coach, not a cab car, we can rebuild for approximately $650,000. To buy that car new would be $3 million. So there is a cost savings to that. Um, and there's a time where you have to buy new, there's a time where you can continue to rebuild, and that's what we're doing with these. On an average, and, and a very, very high average, we're moving cars out of here in 37 days, completely rebuilt. And when it goes out, it's good to go for it till its next rehab cycle, which is 12 and a half to 15 years down the road. So it's a great return on, on, on the taxpayer's money. Um, and like I said, it goes out with all new upgrades. Uh, we, we, we do our best to upgrade everything to at the standards. Some of the upgrades that it goes out with are, we have LED signs uh, for our ADA passengers that uh, display our station stops. We've added sensitive ed edge doors to our side loading doors. We have passenger emergency intercoms now where the passenger can push a button and be in direct contact with a conductor. Uh, we have AEIs, which is a defibrillator, which is on our, on our cab cars, at least one per consist. Um, we have upgraded floors. Um, a lot of upgrades, the convenience outlets for the new passengers. The toilet in the new car is, is similar to the toilet that you'd have in your house, only it's made out of stainless steel. Uh, it's fresh water system, a major upgrade for our passengers. So not only is the car being rehabbed, but we're upgrading many of the systems. On a control car, we're also uh, upgrading the cab signal system. Um, the radio system, the TV monitors, the DVR, so there's a lot of upgrades that go into it as well for the money. So it's a pretty good savings uh, from that standpoint. One of the big things that uh, are very important to our customers, you know we're in the, the digital technology age, everybody's got a smartphone, a computer and things, and a lot of times you're leaving the office in a hurry or leaving home in a hurry, and you, you need that uh, outlet there so you can charge your phone and, and keep your laptop. One of the conveniences of riding Metro is you don't have to worry about driving, you can get on, it adds additional time so you can get things done if you'd like, or if you just want to sit back and watch a movie, you're more than welcome to do that. This will allow people to charge their devices up. It's going to be a much better state-of-the-art type car, so it's going to be much more user customer friendly and it's going to it's built in such a fashion that it's going to last us a long time and provide good service for our customers we spend roughly 3600 hours per car for a cab car which is what we call a controlling cab car and about 300 hours less for a trailer car which doesn't have the control stand in it there's electricians carmen sheet metal workers and cleaners and laborers that we have working on the facility our workers are 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 world-class workers. They are very knowledgeable at what they do. They've been doing these rehab projects and working on cars their whole life. This is very important to the local economy. These are Illinois jobs, they're Illinois workers, they're Illinois benefits, and, and by being Illinois uh, employees for the most part, you, you've also got that money being spent in Illinois. So it's just a, it's just a great, great thing to be able to do, to be able to control these programs in-house. You know what you're getting, you've got uh, everything that you're you're looking at, it's just the best for everybody, it really is.